that kind of evolution of those two worlds happened quite accidentally, but to say that is accidental kind of makes it seem as though there wasn't a thought process that went into it. I mean, I think I live in a space that embodies these kind of creatures without even realizing it. I mean, we have a culture of um, carnival here, you know, so there, there are a lot of like creative beings that kind of exist in, in that particular tradition. Um, so I think there is some influence that happens from that. And I mean, you know, like I, like I said, I mean, there's, there's been a huge kind of arc in my, in my practice that has, I suppose in some ways been thinking about this on the outskirts, but I hadn't necessarily been like combining images in this way. Um, but just from, you know, being in the ocean, I mean, it's, it's already such an unusual space with things that you just never see on land. And I mean, you're just there for like a very brief period, right? Obviously we don't survive in the sea. So it's just when you get to go there and encounter these things, it's very hard not to be influenced by what you're seeing. Um, and, you know, during the time when I started doing underwater photography, I had just been documenting the reef on the beach that I grew up on. Because obviously, you know, being there from a child to like present day, I've seen like these tremendous changes just within the coral, um, you know, like where certain spots are being bleached, you know, just certain certain corals that I just knew to exist in particular areas were no longer there. So I, I've been, you know, observing these things sort of over time without realizing I had been doing that. So I wanted to like document um, these different, you know, corals and marine organisms that I had been engaging with my entire life. And I have, you know, I created this incredible record of just this reef that I grew up around that I consider my home in a way, because obviously it's where I always go. And, you know, simultaneously, I had been sort of documenting my body in the ocean. You know, I just, it's the first time I'm getting an underwater camera, like I had been experimenting and it's like, it's a very limiting space as to what you can shoot. It's either you're shooting yourself, you're shooting coral or you're shooting people, right? Other people. So I had been doing all of these things, just really fully exploring and experimenting. And, you know, like a lot of what I do becomes to me magic in the editing process. That's sort of they enjoy the most and I just you know like a puzzle I move things around I look at how things kind of work together and I think the first image I had created was the image with the black sea urchin in my my head and I looked at it and I was like wow this is really unusual but it it felt like something I had seen underwater without realizing I had seen it because sometimes you do see coral that takes the shape of like um people's faces so I think in a way I was kind of being influenced by what was already happening in that environment. And I think once I had realized I had something, then I started to really kind of mix and match parts of my body. And that's where the series began to really develop from, from that moment.